Good morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and enjoying the summer. In today's video I wanted to kind of take you along with me for the upcoming week and show you all the outfits I put together every single morning and hopefully this will give you some outfit inspiration for your own wardrobe and your own outfits for this summer. And this video is sponsored by Suvi who very kindly sent me this brilliant and very fancy looking hair dryer. The technology behind this is incredible and it is absolutely fascinating. It's meant to dry your hair by mimicking nature, the way your hair would dry when you're outside in the sun. So it's using light and air as opposed to really hot heat. So I'm super excited to share this with you and show you how I use it for all the different hairstyles I will be doing with the outfits I have coming up this week. I've been using this UV for a few weeks now and I'm really impressed with the difference in the quality of my hair. I'm definitely not going back to anything else. It just retains moisture in the hair so much better than my other hair dryer. All right, so here we have the first outfit. As you can see, I decided to go for a pair of trousers today. We're meant to have quite nice weather this week, but today it's looking a little bit more gray than I really wanted it to. So I decided to go for a pair of trousers just to be on the safe side these trousers are linen. If the weather turns around and it gets quite nice and warm, I'm still going to be very, very comfortable. This tank top that I showed you before, it is quite long, but I just folded it up and tucked it into my bra so it doesn't create excess bulk into these trousers. I'm also going to add the layering piece I have on the couch behind me. Let me get it. I love doing this kind of thing though, where you have a blazer and a pair of tailored trousers and they're obviously not matching. So you get that kind of deconstructed suit style. I love that. Even though I am going to keep my fingers crossed that I don't actually have to wear the blazer for today. Good morning! Today is a much nicer looking day weather-wise, so I'm super happy I put on this simple dress today. I'm gonna keep the hairstyle that I had yesterday. I really noticed that my hairstyles hold much longer. When I use the suvi, my hair doesn't frizz up or get tangled overnight, so because it doesn't heat up the hair all the way through the core, it doesn't dry it out fully, so it helps the hair retain moisture. I would imagine that is why my hair is looking sort of softer for longer. So this dress that I have on today, you can see it's just very minimal, very classic. As you can see, it's very like open knit. It's almost a bit see-through, but I do have skin colored underwear on. I'm hoping to get to the beach a little bit later today, so I wanted to have this very appropriate straw bag with me. My jewelry is fairly minimal as well. I have this coin necklace and then this gold ring and this pearl ring. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like this gold ring is so orange. You can actually see it in camera, whereas this gold is a lot more green or neutral, so I'm gonna take off this ring but I do have this pearl ring on this hand and it's quite a statement ring so I'm just gonna keep that one and very simple but I love these dresses for summer and I really don't think you have to go more complicated than this. All right we are on a day three. I've gone for a full linen outfit today. I have this really beautiful off the shoulder top. This is very recent into my wardrobe and I pair this with a sort of not matching shorts but these are also linen. Minimal jewelry on again today and I am going to go for the same bag that I had yesterday. Having a little bit of contrast to my outfit really works for me. A little bit goes a very very long way. For the hair I have it's a third day hair. I just used this claw clip with some big pearls on it. I definitely wanted it out of my face for the day. I'm gonna go enjoy my little smoothie now and I will see you probably tomorrow. Good morning, it's day four. I've just washed my hair and I just want to show you how I dry it because I just want to show you a couple of the other attachments. The first one is the gentle air attachment and it just pops on like that. I am so impressed with this, I'll be honest. I kind of had a feeling like this was going to be one of those kind of gimmicky things that didn't do much. This is probably my favorite attachment because it makes the air so gentle. I have a very, very sensitive scalp and this has been such a game changer. So I'm very, very impressed with this. I pretty much dry my scalp using 
this attachment and then I just take it off and dry the rest of my hair because this does slow down the airflow a little bit so it takes a little bit longer to dry. Another thing is I've just used this and it's completely like it's warm but it's not too hot to touch so it's really easy to switch these between when you're drying. It really doesn't get too hot and I love that. Can you see how frizz free my parting is? I am so excited i'm using a lot less product so this is fantastic i'm gonna dry the rest of my hair and i'm gonna use the diffuser that comes with it i also actually like to use this for my hair even though it is so long and straight because i get more of that air dried look to it i tend to go quite slow with this obviously my hair is quite long so it doesn't really want to hold a wave but i get this beautiful movement to my hair and i'm so so excited about that but i love this very sort of natural texture i just think it's really beautiful and effortless but without that frizz or any tangling and i also love using this concentrator nozzle it is fantastic for getting that really smooth and shiny finish i usually use the gentle attachment to dry my scalp and then I rough dry the rest of my hair about 80% without any of the attachments before I put on the concentrator nozzle and I finish off the rest with that. It does slow down drying time a little bit so I never dry my hair fully with any of these attachments. It is really great to use it without any of them as well. You have four settings on the back here. So I tend to use the care or fast when I just dry my hair and I just rough dry it, very easy. And then I use the style setting on it. I use a hairbrush with it as well. And that is definitely one of my favorite ways of sort of finishing off my hair with the Zuvi hair dryer. I have been so impressed with the reduction in frizz because that has definitely been one of my bigger issues previously with my old hair dryer no matter what direction i use this blow dryer i can't seem to get it to create frizz my hair just is completely different it doesn't have the same amount of frizz whatsoever i had to use a lot more product before so that is definitely one of my favorite things about this hair dryer and apparently hair dryers use a lot of electricity which I kind of foolishly never even considered before but the Zuvi is using 60% less electricity. Selfishly it's great for my electricity bill but I think it's amazing that they are considering the environment and when they are creating something new and amazing like this they're not just relying on the technology and making a great product but also considering the environment in the process which I think is fantastic. Just a tiny touch of texture spray and it's just really enhancing what the Zuvi created. Today's outfit, I'm sure you can recognize it, that I'm using the same shorts as yesterday. And I actually had to kind of catch myself a little bit thinking that I should have a new pair of shorts, like a different pair of shorts for today, just because I'm filming. And then I had to kind of remind myself that it's so important we normalize re-wearing our items. It is so incredibly silly that I feel like I can't re-wear the same thing two days in a row. That is not what I want to do at all. I definitely believe in outfit repeating and I love doing that. These shorts have a little bit of pleating and I just think that that makes the whole outfit a little bit more polished off. Even though they are linen, you can see the creasing from yesterday. I did not steam them and I am just going to sit down now so I'm not going to steam them now either. And again, dressing it up with a chunky chain necklace. All right, so I just have a quick minute to show you the second outfit of the day and I am going to a friend's garden party, so I am just about to run out the door or walk because I definitely can't run in this dress. But I love this dress. This is five years old, I think. I wear it every single summer. And I just put my hair up in a high ponytail first. I'll show you, I used a bungee cord. I think they are so good for not sort of having to drag your hair through them. So you ruin all the texture and wave you have already. I love when it's a little bit crooked and just a little bit lived in looking. And I also wanted a heel for this dress. You can see it's a little bit long, so I kind of needed a pair of heels. I'm gonna have the Celine bag here with me because I need to drag along <laughs> some stuff. But yeah, I'm super excited. So I'm just gonna run out the door now because you know, of course I'm running late. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, we have hit Friday. Yesterday went quite late. I am pretty tired today, but I have a couple of meetings. So I figured I would show you the outfit before I run out the door. I layer this cotton shirt over 
this crochet bralette. I've worn this bralette so many times. I'm sure you've seen it before. So I'm just gonna tuck my shirt into my skirt and I'll take it off completely later. I love using print for summer because it just adds so much without you having to add any more layers. So that is fantastic. And as you can see, I went with a bun today. I definitely needed something to get my hair out of my face. And I also like it when I have a collar to just get the hair up. I used the bungee cord elastic I used yesterday and then I secured it with some pins. I do not need the extra sweat I will get from having to redo my hair many times throughout the day. So that is the outfit for today. I'm probably going to get sweaty today no matter what I'm wearing but hopefully this should work. Happy Sunday. I did not film my outfit yesterday. I ended up just doing some painting and sanding of some walls at home. So I figured that wouldn't be too interesting to see. And today I am just overcompensating a little bit, I guess, for wearing clothes I didn't like yesterday. So I have this really pretty cotton summer dress. It always just makes me feel really happy when I put it on. And you can see this little Vivian Westwood necklace here. I think it is super pretty, ultra feminine, and it just goes so well with this dress when you're just deciding to go all out. There's a new exhibition at an art gallery in town that I wanted to go to, so I figured I'm allowed to dress up a little bit. I have just tied my hair up into a ponytail, and then I twisted it and I wrapped a twilly around it to just dress up the ponytail a little bit. I did wash it yesterday because it was full of dust after my renovation work, and I just did the same routine that I did at the beginning of this video. I want to again thank CV so much for sending me the the Halo hair dryer. I'm so impressed with this hair dryer and it's just a joy to use it. It's lightweight, it's super comfortable to use and it's just overall it feels very high-end to use. It definitely is a splurge purchase but I spend so much money on hair care and I wish I knew before what a big difference a hair dryer could make but this is a very new product i'm so excited to see all the hype around it i definitely think it is well deserved it's definitely another competitor to the high-end hair tool market and having tried it now i'm very impressed i definitely think it deserves to be there it's something very different and i really really appreciate all the technology that has gone into making this product I wish I could explain the technology a little bit better, but CV does that so much better than I do. So I will link their website down below so you can go and check it out. These are all of the outfits for this video. I hope you found some inspiration in it. I am really loving summer. We're right in the middle of it and it's kind of great, but it's also a little bit difficult to get dressed. So hopefully you took some styling tips from this video. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're not already for lots more fashion content. And I will see you very shortly in the next video. Bye!